Hello, and welcome back to Lee Reader. My name is Lee, if you hadn't already guessed, and today I want to talk about my top five book-to-film adaptations of 2015. Every single year, a ton of books are made into films, but I've chosen a top five this year, and the five I'm looking forward to m the most, and I'm just going to share that list with you guys. So let's jump straight in. At number five, we have... Mordecai. Now Mordecai is a film that is based off of a book called Don't Point This Thing At Me, but it's the first in a trilogy of series starring a character called Mordecai. They are crime and mystery books and I really liked the look of the trailer so I'm really looking forward to this film. Um, a lot of people I work with have actually read the book, I haven't personally, but I'm really looking forward to seeing how it's adapted. I'm actually going to go and buy the book and read it, hopefully before the film, um, which is what I always do. And it's just, it looks really funny. I like Johnny Depp as an actor, I think he's great. Um, so that's number five on my list. Coming in at number four we have Serena. And when I first saw the trailer I was immediately struck because of Jennifer Lawrence. I love Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence is like my favourite actress after Helena Bonham Carter and I saw the trailer for this film and I was so excited. I didn't realise it was actually based off of a book um, until I saw the book in a bookstore. Um, again, I've not read the book, um, I have got it on my to read list, um, and it looks, it just looks like a good film. It's nice to see Jennifer Lawrence sort of giving, going down a different route um, with this sort of mystery, that western feel, and this her being a murderess, essentially. Um, but it looks good, it looks like a really good film. Also stars Bradley Cooper, which is an automatic win because the pair together are just great. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the film. Um, again, gonna try and read the book before it comes out in the cinemas, so let's hope that happens. And yeah, that's number four. In at number three, we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Now, I'm particularly excited for this film, even though I haven't finished the book. I began reading it, I've got the book behind me and the second one, um, but I couldn't really get into it. It was a, about two years ago when I got it, I couldn't really get into it and I've not really tried since. Um, but the idea that it's going to be a film is sort of pushing me to read it again. Um, but I've heard really great things about the book. Um, I just couldn't get into it, you know, a couple of years ago. I was in a bit of a different place. So I'm hoping to read the book. Um, but hopefully the film will do it justice. And in at number two we have... Mockingjay Part 2. I'm a massive fan of the Hunger Games trilogy and it's so strange to think that the last film is already on its way because I remember, I read the, I mean, I read the books back in like 2009, 2010 um, and I remember seeing the whole build up to seeing the first film being made, like when it was cast, when they started filming and just the whole deal of it, it got me so excited and the idea that the last film is coming up already, already is kind of really sad because it's kind of full circle um, but I'm so looking forward to the film. I really enjoyed Mark Mockingjay Part 1, um, but Mockingjay Part 2 is where all the action kicks in, um, and I'm really looking forward to it. Don't think it'll be as good as Catching Fire, because Catching Fire is my, both my favourite book and favourite film, so I, hopefully they can do a good job with Mockingjay Part 2, but I'm sure I'm going to be more than content. And that leaves us at number one, which is... Paper Towns. Now a lot of people don't know this but I actually have to thank John Green for a lot of what I do. The Vlog Brothers was one of the first channels I subscribed to way back in like 2007. I've been a huge fan of John's writing for a long time. I really enjoyed Paper Towns. It was the first John Green book that I read. Um, I did have it shipped over from America so I could read it. I've got a first edition and it's great. Um, and really because of John John's writing and Hank's music, um, I got a lot more involved in YouTube and I began vlogging and I began doing this and I've met so many friends and awesome people because of the fact that we all like John Green's writing. So that is one of the reasons I'm super excited for this film. That and because of the success of The Fault in Our Stars, which is also a great book, but I enjoyed Paper Turns more and Paper Turns more means a lot more to me personally. So I'm so looking forward to the film. I'm very excited to see it made. Um, I just, I can't, like John approves of it as well, which is also great. Um, so I'm so looking forward to it. I hope it does as well as The Fault in Our Stars. I'm sure it will. Um, it's just a great book. Hopefully it'll be a great film as well. And that's it. That is my top five book to film adaptations I'm looking forward to this year. Let me know yours down in the comments if you have any, or if there's any other films you're looking forward to, or any other books you're looking forward to, or books you want made into films. That's a good one. So, um, let me know down below in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know um, when I get really excited and passionate about things like this, I have a tendency to ramble, so sorry if I've rambled. Um, but I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you on Thursday with another part of the Books I Love series, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.
This video was kind of rambly, so I hope it wasn't too rambly, and no, you're sticking to the end. Books I Love is coming up on Thursday, and the book I'm going to be reviewing is The Art of Fielding by Chad Hardback. Not reviewing, recommending, but you know what I mean. So stick around for that, and I'll see you on Thursday. Goodbye.